Hi, Jim May, this President, Energy Professionals, and this is your Energy News Today. Wow! Rolling blackouts hit California. What you need to know. PG&E released a statement saying that California ISO had notified that the state's power grid had enough energy to avoid any rolling blackouts on Sunday. But they urged everybody in California, start conserving energy now. California temperatures soared to record-breaking highs over the weekend, leading to a series of unexpected power outages and a stage three electrical emergency that left millions of residents in the dark. Not only in the dark, but without air conditioning. Why was a stage three emergency issued? Well, it is declared when the demand begins to outpace supply. What happens when it gets really, really hot? Everybody goes home and turns on the air conditioner at night when they get home from work. What's the problem with that? All the solar is not working and a lot of the wind power calms down so you're not getting the solar and the wind resources from California. So what happens is when you can't get the power from the solar because the sun's down and when the wind stops blowing because it's nighttime and it gets calmer, you don't have that massive set of energy for the grid. Will I know when my power is going out? Great question. Not necessarily because when it's an emergency blackout, it's too late. They will notify you after you lose power that you lost power. Okay, but that's because no one can predict this every time. They do try to give you an alert notification saying, hey, it's getting really, really, really hot, like 130 degrees in Death Valley is like a record setting temperature. This means you go home, you put on your air conditioning. Well, what do you do if you lose power and you have no air conditioning? Well, amid the pandemic, the places that would normally provide relief like pools, libraries, and community centers, well, those are all shut down. You can't go there. So you need to contact your local health department to find out where there is a air-conditioned shelter in your area. So here's the thing. Right now, conserve energy. This is why a lot of our customers are doing microgrids for their business and even for your home. If you have solar and an on-site generator, you can then be, when the grid goes down, you can be independent of the grid. This is called a microgrid setup. We can actually have it so that your house or your business can operate. You don't have to lose millions of dollars a day, or in some cases, millions of dollars an hour, because the power goes out. If the blackouts are affecting you financially, give us a call today so we can help you get your own microgrid system.